Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for back app and in today's video we are going to continue our crude series, create, read, update and delete objects on your React Native application using PARS. So here I have my React Native CRUD application we, that we created in the last videos and our employee class with a few objects that we have in the telephone and the some pointers and, and relations as well. And today we're going to aim on retrieving those objects using a parse query. On future videos, I will show you how to select which results you want to see, but today we're, we're going to aim only on display all the results. So here I have my Visual Studio and I created this new read objects uh, screen. So in here, the first thing I have to do is uh, define the parse query and tell which class I want it to run on. So const parse query equals new parse query and then my employee class as a string, uh, it must uh, match the format that you use here. So I want to order, the, order those records uh, descendingly. So to do so, I'll, I'll use a property of the parse query uh, called descending and then passing on the string value of the property I want to use to uh, order. So to do that, I'm going to use parse query dot descending and create that, which is a automatic field created by parse and populated by parse. So you don't have to worry about it. Every single object that you create has this created at automatically populated. With that done, I have to put this small piece of code that is the same every time you use live queries. So const and then an object with a few properties. Today we're going only to use the results uh, properties which contains all the results that matches the query that we declared up there. Equals use parse query and then parse query as a parameter, which is the query that we created up here. With that, uh, here I have my flat list and for every single item I'm going to do the title equals item, which is every single record, dot get is how you read a property and then the property uh, that you want to display. In this case, the name. And below every single title, I'm going to do a description equals item dot get and the telephone. So the telephone will be displayed underneath the, the name of the user in a smaller text. With all that done, all I have to do is type yarn iOS it will bring up my simulator, automatically deploy the application for me. There you go. And here you can see the records uh, descending by the creation date. So Natalia, David, Charles, Alison, and Alex. And as you can see, their telephones are down here, except for Alex, which does not have a telephone because in the time we created uh, it didn't have a telephone uh, in the class. So I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you on the next ones of the series. See you soon. Bye bye.